guessing that these are pictures, the previous shots were what Grandpa took out of an airplane on his way out uh, to California for their first trip in uh, 1958. Look at that Studebaker sitting there, huh? I don't see any of those around anymore. Yeah, Grandma and Grandpa came out to do the, uh, the big tours. Of course, I'd only been here a little, a little over a year, so I didn't know very much, but obviously we went to CBS Television Studio, Farmer's Market in Los Angeles. Oh, look at that T-bird. Coral Reef must have been at the farmer's market. Grandma buying souvenirs. She must be eating at the farmer's market. Those are, those are houses uh, on the hills overlooking Los Angeles. Mohond, Mohond Drive. Grandma, Grandma enjoyed the swimming pool while she was here. Uh, Grandpa too, likewise. Oh, we took a trip down to um, Marine Land of the Pacific, down in Palos Verdes, California. This is a uh, like I say, about 1958. I don't even know that that's there anymore now. But it was the usual thing to train seals, and whales, and porpoises. You have to realize that Grandpa took these pictures for historical purposes to take home to uh, show his friends in New Jersey, and they, not necessarily to acquaint you with Marine Land. After visiting Marine Land, we hit another site in Southern California, which would be Disneyland. Just for the adults to enjoy, because there were no children then. But it was all new to Grandma and Grandpa. 
as a jungle ride. Disneyland, we headed for points north in Northern California, going through a Big Sur State Park, heading on to San Francisco, and then Yosemite, I think, and Kings Canyon. See a little coastline here. A seven mile drive in the Lone Cypress. 17 mile drive, I'm sorry. And then our way into San Francisco. And our notorious cable car ride. Hardly anybody on it in those days. Today they're hanging off there like flies on tar paper. Wonder if we went down Lombard Street, the crookedest street in the world. Out there we are, it's on the side of the cable car. These are our views of San Francisco uh, and surrounding areas taken from Telegraph Hill, which is where the old timers used to go up and uh, watch for ships to come in and give a signal in the harbor. And Grandma Gladys, looks like a typical foggy day. And then down to Fisherman's Wharf. I'm glad on number nine. There's Alcatraz. As, as of this, this day in February 9, 2009, Alcatraz is being considered as a temporary home for the people that are on Guantanamo Bay, the terrorists. But that won't work because there's no water out there, no drinking water.
self-explanatory. The redwood trees in Sequoia National Park. A couple of dizzy broads. Beats me as to why that picture's in there. General Grant Tree, I believe, is the oldest living thing on Earth. This is not a picture of a railroad yard. This is a picture of the Schlitz Brewery, which was just up the street from uh, where we lived on Woodman Avenue. And it's, looks like this is the farewell at the airport. Right, right, right. More pictures that Grandpa took out the window. Probably Lake Mead in Nevada. There's the Grand Canyon, which we've already seen. That's the end. 